Hello children, let us understand more about matter and molecules now. We have learnt that all living and non-living things around us that take up space and have weight are called matter. All the matter is made up of small particles called molecules. We all know that all substances are present in one of the three forms solid, liquid and gas because of arrangements of molecules. In solids, molecules are closely packed and there is a kind of force that holds the molecules together. That's why solids are hard and have shape as well as weight. In the liquids, the molecules are not closely packed as the force which holds the molecules is not as strong as in solids. Liquids do not have shape. They have the shape of the container in which they are kept. Liquids have weight. Now coming to gases. Molecules of gases flow freely as they are not held together by any kind of force. The molecules of gases are far apart from each other and they are free to move around all over in the space available to them. Gases do not have shape but they have weight although gases weigh much lesser than solids and liquids. We can measure solid and liquids but the methods are different. When we buy milk it is measured in liters. It means we buy it by measuring how much space it occupies. The amount of space occupied by an object is called its volume. And when we buy vegetables or sweets, it is measured in kilograms or grams. Thus, we buy these by measuring how heavy they are. We can measure volume of a liquid in liters and weight of a solid in kilograms. Normally when we increase the volume, the weight of the substance also increases. But volume of two different substances can be different. Like if we take a piece of iron that weighs 1 kilogram and a bunch of cotton that weighs 1 kilogram, we will find that their volume are different. Cotton occupies more space than iron. The amount of matter in a body is called its mass. As we saw, matters of solid, liquid and gas can change their form when heated or cooled. Like water is a liquid, but when the water is heated till it boils, it changes into steam, that is gas. And if the water is cooled in a refrigerator, it changes into ice, that is solid. In this case, the molecules of water remain the same, but the space between the molecule changes. This change can be reversed by reversing the conditions. Like if we cool water vapor, it turns into water. And if we heat the ice, it becomes water again. This kind of reversible change is called physical change. But what will happen if we burn a piece of paper and it changes into the ash? Is it possible to turn this ash into paper again? No, it is impossible. So, there are some changes which are permanent and cannot be reversed. Such change which cannot be reversed is called chemical change. So, we know when matter changes its state, the molecules of matter remain the same. Only the 
space between the molecule changes. Now the question is why are some changes reversible that is physical changes and some are irreversible that is chemical changes. This is because the molecules are made up of something else. Take a piece of chalk and break it into smaller and smaller pieces. Keep breaking the chalk until it can't be broken anymore. Now find out the single smallest particle of chalk. <laughs> is it possible? No, because it is too small and cannot be seen even with the most powerful microscope. These smallest particles are atoms. When atoms combine together, they form molecules. And as we know, all the matter is made up of molecules. So now we know matter is made up by molecules and molecules are made up by atoms. There are some substances which are made up of molecules having the same kind of atoms while some other substances whose molecules have different kind of atoms. It means if molecules break in the form of atoms, they will not be the same anymore. For example, in the water, there are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. And hydrogen and oxygen are some names of atoms. When water changes into vapor or ice, the composition of molecule of water remains the same. That is, one molecule of water will continue to have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Just the space between the molecule changes and hence this change can be reversed back. That is, it's a physical change. But if we break the molecule of a substance, like the example of paper turning it to ash, it is not the same substance anymore. So in a chemical change, the molecules break into atoms and atoms rearrange themselves to form new molecules and hence this change is irreversible. You may think if there are two types of atoms in a molecule of water then there must be million kinds of atoms present in the universe because there are so many things in the universe. What you think is right but it's not exactly like that. It will sound very strange but there are about 113 kinds of atoms on the earth and by combining these atoms in different ways to form different molecules we can make all the things in the universe. It is not necessary that all the molecules are made up by different kind of atoms. Some substances are made up of molecules having the same kind of atoms. They are called pure substances or elements. Oxygen, Hydrogen, Nitrogen, Carbon, Sodium, Iron, Copper are some examples of elements. Their molecules have same type of atoms. Molecules which are made up of different kind of atoms are called compounds. Water, Carbon Dioxide, Sugar, Salt, petrol etc are example of compounds. This is all for today. Bye bye children.